Welcome to Electron Line. There are various methods in which we can calculate the torque. Let's start with our first method here. If you have a situation where you have a, an object and you apply a force to it, and the, the action of the force is not directed through the point of rotation or also called the pivot point, then we're causing a torque, which essentially could cause the object to rotate or accelerate in a rotational sense if that's the only force acting on it. But to calculate the magnitude of the torque in this case, since the force is perpendicular to the what we call position vector from the point of rotation to where the force is acting, the torque can simply be, be calculated by multiplying the magnitude of the position vector, which in this case would be the length of this object, times the magnitude of the force. Now, if the force doesn't act perpendicular to the position vector, if there's an angle between the vertical here and the direction of the force, let's call it angle theta, then the torque can be calculated by multiplying the magnitude of the position vector from the point of rotation to where the force is acting times the force, the magnitude of the force, times the cosine of the angle between them. The reason here why we use the cosine is because we're finding the angle between the force and the vertical, the perpendicular to the position vector, not the angle between the force and the position vector. Then we would have to use the sine of theta. It doesn't matter if the force is directed in this direction or is indirected in that direction. In either case, you can say that the torque is equal to the force, or I should start with to the magnitude of the position vector times the force times the cosine of the angle between them. Again, we use the cosine because it's the angle between the perpendicular to the position vector and the force. Now let's do an example. Let's say that in this case, the angle theta is equal to 30 degrees. Let's say the magnitude of the force is equal to 20 newtons. And let's say that the length of this piece here, the length of the object is equal to, well, let's call it uh, four meters. How do we find the torque caused by that force? The torque would be equal to the length times the magnitude of force times the cosine of the angle between the vertical, the perpendicular to the position vector and the direction of the, of the force. And so that would be the cosine of the angle theta. In this case, we take the length, that would be four meters. We multiply it times the force, which is 20 newtons and then we multiply times the cosine of 30 degrees, which is about 0.866. So we get four times 20 times the cosine of 30, and we get 69.3, we'll just round it off. This is equal to 69 Newton meters. Notice that the units of torque is Newton times meters, which is force times distance. And so in this case, the torque would be equal to 69 newton meters and that's how it is that's our first method of how to find the torque here notice we're only dealing with the magnitudes not with the actual direction so we talk about it in terms of magnitudes not in terms of vectors that will come later that's our first method on to the next one